Hello, so today we're going to look at making some voices, some AI generated voices for our little characters in our cutscene. So I've just made a little cutscene here. This is supposed to be the devil. This is Dr. D or Faust or a Faust type scenario where he's in his uh, protective magic circle and he's summoned this nasty demon. Demons come out of uh, AI generated uh, 2D image. So uh, the, the texture maps have also come through from the, the 2D, um, sorry, the 3D package KDIM, um, which, you know, it's not done an incredibly bad job, it's, but you can see that it's pushed the planar map through the character if you look on the shoulder. Um, but there's ways to fix that, which we will uh, discuss um, later. Anyway, so the, a couple of lots on this. It's not ideal. I'm going to obviously continue to fiddle with how this looks because you can't really see what's going on. Uh, but that's not the point of this tutorial. It's really just to look at um, a couple of different types of uh, AI voice software. So I put together a little script and this is really kind of just messing about uh, making Faust into a sitcom uh, which may or may not be funny. I'm kind of guessing more may not, but let's go for it. Um, so the real point of this is I, 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 I've only just started writing the script, but um, it's the case is that I've just got the two main characters. So we've got a kind of sarcastic uh, Satan. Uh, shall I put Satan? Let's put Satan. Um, so this, again, we're not using a final draft here, so I'm having to, you know, th there are plugins for Word that give you a correct formatting for scripts, but at the minute I'm just using tab to, to kind of uh, get it in vaguely the correct script format. Um, so Sarcastic Satan, and we've got a nervous uh, Faust or Dr. D. Um, so these are the two lines. I've got the two characters kind of uh, laid out here uh, personality-wise, so we can kind of look for voices to match that. So if we go initially, this, this one is called Speechalo, and you have to pay for this. Um, so, and some, this can sometimes give you good results, uh, other times really bad results, but this has got uh, an AI voice built in, only for some of the voices I should point out. So, um, for instance, if I go to Poppy Female, that's fine. Uh, okay, I'm just... Okay, so there you go. So if I click on this one, it doesn't support the AI voice engine. So this can make a difference, not a huge difference, but this is a lot more customizable than the other free one I'm going to show you. Um, but to be honest with you, I'll probably use the other one more, which I'll get to in a minute. So this is called Speechalo, you know, uh, Blast it Online Speechalo. You have to pay for it. Um, so all I've done is here, I've just... Uh, so I seem to have Speechalo Pro. Uh, so I... I've just pasted in the text, you just paste the text in here. And I've chosen the voice, English, British. Um, Ireland's quite amusing. Uh, and I've, I've put it on AI voice. So let's just try it on standard actually. Um, and you can add breathing, etc., with standard. So you can preview your voice over. I have summoned you, servant, that you might. This is a preview. For full text, click generate voiceover. So sometimes you, it's better to put the end of the sentence on if you, even if your characters, in this case, the sentence is going to be cut off uh, halfway through. But um, you, you, it will help it to flow better if you. You might help me. Uh, it will help. It'll help it to flow better if it has the full sentence. Um, but you'll notice here that that's quite kind of staged and 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 kind of broken up, um, fragmented. So let's have a look at AI voice. I have summoned you, servant, that you might help me. This is a preview. For so you see, that's not bad. You know, I mean, that's that's definitely usable. Um, and sometimes you, if certain words don't work, you have to kind of, uh, you can change, you have to change your script about, I find, on the fly, just to, to get it to understand particular words um, or get it to, to sound like a human uh, you'll find that you will have to kind of swap in and swap out words. But the free one, um, so that's quite good, but the free one here, which I've used quite a lot, um, is if you go to the marketplace, it's called Replica Studios AI Voice Actors. So you can install it to Engine. Uh, okay, just checking I hadn't installed it to five. I hadn't installed it to five. So this is free. Uh, and this, I think this is really good. I mean, you know, this has got a lot of really good voices. So I'll show you. 
Um, so I can't remember how whether it downloads whether you have to go whether it automatically downloads this this um, this pop out version of Replica, but um, one way or another, I think you actually have to go to the site Replica Studios site. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yes, so here we go. Yeah, this is it. So you need to do this, uh, and the and the purpose of this is that then uh, it'll feed directly into your Unreal project, so you don't need to mess about. Um, which I think I should be able to show you if it's installed to the engine. Anyway, so Replica Studio is really good, gives you loads of voices. Um, so I've added this in here, and this this is quite a good character uh, for kind of. Um, unsettled or um, scared or kind of creepy I, I found but you will know it's that well I'll just play this but so I put on if we try this on happy uh, and you can't actually adjust these uh, so and I'm in sandbox mode I, I have down. summoned you servant that you might help me so see, that's pretty good. I mean, that sounds like a kind of posh uh, English thespian kind of overacting, which, which, you know, works in some cases. So if I go to Unsettled, uh, more styles, I haven't seen that before. Okay, I see. That's good. That's good. Uh, should we do Worried? Let's try Worried. 50%. Yeah, add style. Okay, let's try this. I have summoned you, servant, that you might help me. So it's kind of messing up on the servant there. So, you know, you can start putting um, uh, full stops, exclamation marks uh, in there to change the inflection on the word. I have summoned you, servant, that you might help me. Sometimes as well. I have summoned you, servant, that you might help me. So that's exactly the same. So you'll find sometimes. I have summoned you, servant. No, so that's exactly the same. Um, so let's just try unsettled. Menacing. I have summoned you, servant. That you might help me. <laughs> okay, so I mean that's quite funny, you know. It depends what you're going for. So, I mean, for me, that's it doesn't work at the end. You might help me, but um, the point is, I don't need these last two words. So that that for me, that's funny, and uh, you know, that's well, that's kind of good. So what happens then is, I'm happy with this. Um... I have summoned you, servant, that you might help me. Yeah. So, so you need to remember, you know, you don't want to, you want to get all your lines out of, out of your particular character because, uh, so I can download this. Uh, so, I mean, really, all it's doing at the minute is it's just downloading me a, uh, so, um, so let's just have a look now. I've got this one downloaded. So let's just have a look at a different voice. Uh, and, you know, this is where the fun starts. They've added lots more, you know, and you can kind of get an idea from the, the, uh, the character and you can get some we must hold them back we cannot allow even one to pass through the gate uh so i mean let's try that and some of them you don't get as many options let's have a look stern okay i have summoned you servant that you might help me they're going to still messing up on uh, might help me, but I mean, you know, it depends what age you want to go for. So there's lots of uh, male and female characters here um, and everything in between. Uh, so it's, it's quite it's 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 quite entertaining to basically go through and try out different voices. And then it should in some cases directly feed these into um, into Unreal. But, um, you know, it's hardly if you're downloading it as a wave, you just drag it into Unreal and then um, you can use it as a sound file. But so that's a kind of overview of, of a couple of the what I feel to be the best uh, current AI voice tools that you can use in your projects. Okay.